Exert your voice. Don't talk quietly. Exactly. One, two, three. Check, check. Big head on screen. Two, three. <laughs> Are you talking about you? No, I don't think it's, it's head just got on screen. What are you talking about? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayla and I'm here with my boyfriend, Les. Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> and today we are gonna do a Q&A. So it's kind of like a meet my boyfriend part two, cause I already did that video where I kind of introduced you, right? Yeah. Um, but this is more of like a Twitter Q&A. So basically I'm just gonna go through my Twitter feed and I'm gonna ask the question and both of us are gonna answer it. Or maybe he'll just answer it, maybe I'll just answer it, whatever. Some people, there's a lot of questions that are just for you, by the way. I figure, cause they know you for the most part. Oh, see, see, he's smart, that's why, that's why. All right, this is from, uh, her name is Kaxti, K, I don't know, Kaxti. I'm like really bad when it comes to pronouncing anything. So forgive me, but she said, what is the key to a successful relationship? Listening, patience. Patience, understanding, um, and learning. Learning your significant other, for sure. I feel like you did a good job answering that. Like, I, f I feel like that's pretty good. I mean, you gotta have respect for one another. Respect, um, oh, it's your turn, you can answer them. No, you did a good job. I feel like respect, you have to respect one another. You have to be able to compromise. For sure. There has to be trust. Support the turtle. Compromise. And the turtle's in the living room. She Still hit there. it again. <laughs> I did it. I did it. It's I, in there right now. I found it. Somebody actually said that we should uh, dye the or color the turtle silver. And I was not opposed to that. Like spray paint it silver so it matches. Uh, I'm not doing that. Okay, so this question is from Alex Will. She said, what made y'all decide to want to live together? This actually was a smooth like, conversation. It just came up and said, oh, what do you think about it? And I said, oh, well, we're together all the time. Every time I come to LA, we're literally together and it's quite a bit. Uh, most people thought I was already, most of my friends already, some of my friends thought I was maybe already had moved or living there. So I said, oh, yeah, it could work. <laughs> We, I, like, I liked her ways about her uh, tendencies of her, well, her OCD tendencies of being clean. <laughs> Do you um, still like them? Yeah. Until she likes to take certain things off the table like the turtle, but <laughs> the turtle is surviving right now, so. Basically what happened was we were, I feel like when the relationship got serious, it was kind of like, you know, you didn't want to be in Jacksonville. I didn't like going to Jacksonville and you just started looking for jobs out here. Yeah, that's how and then we out. just had the conversation where, and I was like, well, if you find a job before my lease is up, then you can just move in here. Sure. Step in, help out. That's pretty much how it happened. But it's just, I feel like we, we've always had like open communication. Always. Like there's never like, oh, I wonder what do you think about this? It's like, we just talk about it. Oh, okay. This is a good one. So this is from Shia Lena. And she said, how did Les react when finding out you are an influencer? I said, Okay. <laughs> so uh, let's hang out <laughs> <laughs> before um like i feel like i was like full-blown influencer well i was but it was like in the beginning that's when we met so we met two it's almost been three years now since we met so when we first met i was still doing makeup and i was like a makeup artist at the time just a makeup artist not just a makeup artist but you guys know what i mean like i was just doing people's makeup but do they <laughs> <laughs> and then over the years like we He's followed my social media and I followed his, so it's like he's kind of followed my journey along the way. Mm. Right? <laughs> followed mine, I don't know. I was following hers, but. That's what I'm saying. You followed my journey. Yeah, you said you followed mine. Well, I followed you on Snapchat, so it was like I would see. She watched once a year. <laughs> <laughs> once a year. <laughs> That's another key to the relationship, you guys. Let the man be a man and, and chase you a little bit. Uh, right? wants you <laughs> yeah if he wants you he's gonna he's gonna wait oh this is a good question from arlene underscore xo when will he pop the question put a ring on it when the time is right like it's like an <laughs> answer it's like so easy <laughs> 
Okay, so Nina Detox Pills. <laughs> she actually always hits me up on Twitter, but she asks, where and how did you first meet? Nina, did you watch her other video? I'm gonna post, we're gonna post a link in the description. <laughs> Ooh, that was good, we will. We'll post a link in the description box, but. It's a great video, enjoy. <laughs> a lot of smiles. <laughs> we met, I, yeah, almost three years, well, I guess, yeah, almost three years ago, near Staples Center in downtown LA. We're like walking and we like pass one another. And then the universe just like <laughs> sparkles or fireworks. Ha. There was a well, there was a marching band also. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. There wasn't a marching band. Yeah, no. Uh, we met in passing and um, had to chase her down a escalator as she was looking back going down backwards quite unsafe but um i was worth the well because i looked back and i was like dang is he gonna make it you know like i was like no, first i said she, okay come on because like we're... was going all the way backwards like come talk to me and i was like yes <laughs> <laughs> but i it wasn't like i was climbing up the escalator the wrong way no, you were going i just down. turned my body yeah. steph Villegas said what's your favorite type of food to eat together let's eat everything uh, well so... it's whatever i can get her out of her diet mode yeah so on diet mode i would say it's asparagus and <laughs> tilapia or salmon okay. off diet mode psh, it depends are you trying to go some southern cooking or i really don't know but it's either fun. even when we go out to eat together i try and eat healthy options oh yeah that's what i'm saying but Less if, can I can, eat if i can ever pull her off her diet mode that's when it's like Maybe like some chicken here. Yeah, I wouldn't mind some fried chicken. Some fried chicken. I, some I like sushi. We like going to sushi yeah, too. Yeah, sushi. That's actually, yeah, sushi. <laughs> Bree Star 28 asks, asks <laughs> what's the hardest part about living together? The turtle. <clears throat> it's the most frustrating thing to keep hiding the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't want to be hidden. <laughs> The turtle doesn't have feelings, guys. Um, I'd say the most frustrating thing is, um, I don't think it's known yet. Um, it takes time. Uh, it's a continuous uh, cycle of learning. Um, it's not gonna be the same thing every day. It's always gonna be something different. So, um, well, 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 today, what was the most? Uh... But as of today, the turtle. <laughs> Just keeps hiding it. <laughs> <laughs> if you can have any superhero power, what would it be? This is from Simply Ray Shauna. Just so you guys know, Les is really into comic book. He's really into like Spider-Man, Superman, Batman, DC Comics, Marvel. Like he knows about all that stuff. All, he's like really into it. She knows about it. I didn't even have to say anything. So who else is into it? <laughs> I like <laughs> I like watching Marvel movies with you. Yes, I like I like watching it, but you're who's, more into who's more pumped to go see Black Panther. I mean, everyone's pumped to see that. Oh wow, she's gonna try to plead the fifth. Everybody yeah. wants to see that movie. <sighs> Some, uh... Superhero power. What would it be? Go. Oh, I know what it would be. <laughs> well, then what would it be then? Uh, probably Flash's speed. Yeah, super speed. Yeah. That's what it would be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I don't think I would. I don't even know. I don't. I wouldn't even know. Superhero power. I don't. I don't even know. Like, there's so many what's powers out there. What's something super that you feel like you would like? Read a, people's minds, maybe. What? Oh, telepathy. Speaking? Yeah. Or like, um, who's a badass female superhero? Phoenix. What is what is Jean that Gray. storm? Jean, Jean Grey. Gray. Yeah, she'll she'll go like this and like mess with your mind. Little wavy body bow. Let's do the dishes. <laughs> and you'll just be like, hey. wow. <laughs> let's not give her that power. <laughs> Diana Pokes three says, "What does Les do for a living, and how has that changed since moving to LA?" For those people who don't know, so he just started a new job. We're not gonna say where, but he just started a new job. Doing basically what he was doing for, can we say that you worked at GE? Yeah, I worked at GE. Yeah, so what he's doing at GE, except it's better. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we'll I've, see. He I starts. Started yet. We'll yeah. Just, uh, looking, tell me when you start. Looking forward to. Look, the, tell me when you start. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, looking forward to the um, <clears throat> upcoming challenges. Um, 
biggest thing is always hoping for a good team and a positive and pushing manager at the same time. Somebody that's cool. So, so like people, some people don't know what an engineer is. And by the way, you guys, it's he different starts different forms, different forms. Like no, but tell them exactly like just like briefly tell them like what you would do. Uh, well, I have an industrial engineering background, so my basically look at processes. Um, how do you take a process? So for her, if she's doing her makeup, how can I make her workstation or whatever um, as best possible suited to where she can be most efficient doing it? To make put in simple terms. Something, I don't know if that was simple or not. But. So like, I'll, okay, I'll give you an example. So his old job, like say you have like this brush cleaner here, okay? There's all these different parts for the brush cleaner. So he, maybe there's this little tiny part here. He had to like go to the supplier and then he would figure out how much it costs and then maybe he'd try and find someone else who sells a part cheaper. Cheaper but same quality. But same quality. That's why we go to China. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, that's like what engineer, because I feel like there's so many different types of engineers and it's like, I uh, shoot. It took me a while to understand what he did. I was like, so okay. I feel like I'm more excited about you starting your job than you, than you are. Not that you're not excited, but I'm like, oh, he's gonna do this. Is that like proud girlfriend? Is that what that is? I'm uh, probably proud girlfriend, but at the same time, for me, it's more so like I understand <clears throat> what my freedoms are, my work life balance. You know, it's a change. So yeah, you'll be fine though. We'll see what happens. <laughs> So Malika14 says, who's the party animal in the relationship? I think it's us both. Yeah? Because we'll both be like, oh, let's go to eat or let's go out with our friends. And if we just do dinner and that's it, we're like, okay, let's go home. Or if it's like, we're going to go out, then it's like, okay, let's just go out. Yeah, we're always down to party. Yeah. As Jessica Erica says... What is one thing you didn't know about each other until you moved in together? Yeah, I feel like we have to come back. It's like, I feel mm -hmm. like when you have a long distance relationship, you're like, like with him and I, it's like we kind of got to know our living habits right away because we would always fly to go see one another. It's not like we lived in the same city and we would just come visit. It was like we would always like stay with one another. And it'd be like multiple days. And it would be like multiple days. So we kind of learned um, each other quickly. I feel like with him, it was probably like my like cleanliness, make my OCD a little bit. Leave it to Lee said, what made Les ultimately move to LA? He found a job. Actually, ultimately made me was my uh, pursuit for happiness, I guess you could say. And what was happiness? What's happiness? Um, basically chasing her. I, was like, um, <laughs> I couldn't keep doing the long distance thing. It was cool for a bit, but it's not something I would want to do or... I'm just not a big fan of uh, long distance, so I um, had to cut that that flight. <laughs> yeah, it was had, a lot of had, flying. had to cut that expense. <laughs> you know what was crazy? Like, the first maybe five months, it was like, we, we would go, like, every other week would be fine, sometimes three weeks. Like, when we first started dating, like, the long, we went, how many days was it? Three weeks without seeing each other? And that was hard. That was like really hard. And then yeah, that's when I went to yeah, I went to Asia. You went to Asia. He went on like a little trip to Asia. That was a little trip. It was a big trip. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big trip. We had multiple countries. <laughs> well, he went on a trip and got the passport stamps. Yeah, I don't think that could happen again. But I feel like together it can happen. But oh yes, together for sure. But I feel like the last three months is where it was like okay, it's getting hard, and like we saw each other like almost every weekend. Yeah, I don't care. Always gone. <laughs> Josie826 says, what is your pet peeve about each other? Pet peeve? I'll let her answer that. You you don't have a pet peeve? Oh, no, you go first. That's all. <clears throat> um, I'm not the truth. So, like, I, okay, so for instance, like a pet peeve would be like, I like to keep, like, the counters clear and, like, he'll just put, well, okay, there's a few, so. A few when we first getting worse, see? <laughs> when we first like um was it when we first moved no when he would first come here he would leave his shoes out like, I have, oh, go ahead he oh, would leave I'm his sorry. shoes out kind of by the trash can or like at the front and he does that and mo a lot of people do that but i don't like that i'm like no put it in the closet like it needs to go away I like it to be clean all the time i'm the type of person i'm like clean as you go instead of like letting everything pile up and clean at the end 
So that was one thing. I mean, everything is like, it's, there's no, it's not a big deal. It's like no big, mm, deal. Not a big deal. Just leaving stuff out or like, like, I'm just like so OCD. So I like the dishes. I respect it though. I yeah. I like it. the dishes to be done every night. And it's like, most people will go. My mom's like that. So yeah. Cool. We'll go like a day and then do it the next day. I'm like, no, dishes have to be clean before I go to sleep. You know? Yeah. So I guess the pet peeve is just like leaving stuff around. A pet peeve for me is that she does. I guess always wanted me to do something when it's like the not the best opportune time if I'm like in the middle of a movie. Like if he's playing FIFA? Playing FIFA or like playing another video game or um, or just want to sit on the couch, you know, and just have my legs up. And she's like, oh, can you? I'm like, no, 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 no. Meanwhile, he's like off of work this whole week, so. Think about what it's like when I'm not off work and I come home. Hey, can you? It's not going to be like that because it'll be done. I'll just do it. Heck no. <laughs> well, yeah, when he gets off work, I'm going to be like, hey, can you, uh, can you, can you, can you, can you? <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Okay, Mariana Yee. Mariana Yee. Yee. <laughs> it's Y-E. I don't know. It's what? Multiple E's. Multiple E's, yes. What traits do you both individually have that make the relationship better? I feel like all my traits make a good shoot. Lessons I've learned from my parents. Um, constant push to always be there for her. Um, Supporting. Which is support. Kind of first things we all mentioned in the beginning. So um, remembering to um, understand somebody else's point of view. Sometimes your own point of view is not always the best. Or it could be the best, but at the same time, there's a different point of view that you need to take in consideration. So... Um, that basically comes down to listening and uh, compromising. Not always compromising, just um, working together, teamwork. Also, I feel like a trait... Um, Which is my traits. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think also <laughs> doing what the other... Like doing things that the other person likes to do. So like for me, it's like giving up like... like Watching or, the same shows over and over again. He's talking about the housewife. Always on, always on repeat. <laughs> you guys know how it is. Every like, hour on the hour. Was... You find like new things when you rewatch it. It's kind of like background noise. <laughs> See, I like to watch the same movie over. She's like, oh, we already watched it. I'm like, watch the same show? So for me, let's see what traits. Like, for instance, I think just giving up like things that you want to do for the other person. That's like a trait we both have. Like, we'll both like. Oh, she tried to, she tried to you know, up me on that one. Oh, we both have. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, it's like, you know, do like, I'm sure there's sometimes he wakes up and I'm like, take a picture of me and he doesn't want to, but he'll just do it. Yeah, just do it. Just like, you know, I'll go watch movies and I'm like, oh, maybe whatever I don't really care about and I'll still go watch it. Yeah, yeah, she might fall asleep. <laughs> You know, that I, you know, pay for that ticket. Listen, sometimes, like, there's a certain theater out here where the seats recline and if, I, if I'm tired and I'm like, there's a movie and I'm like, mm, like, do I care that much about it? I'll just go see because I know I'm fall asleep. <laughs> I'd rather just go by myself. That's so messed, that's so messed up. I appreciate your honesty. Being honest. No, but that's another I'll key watch too. it and then I'll, I'll just fall asleep. But I like the experience of being in the theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> let's thank her for her honesty. Yes, let's do that. RJ23 says, being a successful black couple living in LA, do you face racism daily? Or do you feel accepted? Um... <laughs> That, I guess I would say, from my perspective, that just always comes in the um, location or situation that you're in. Yeah, I, I mean, mean... I'm from the South, so I'm used to it. I mean, I don't really want to dig into that conversation, but... Uh, yeah, I feel like, like, daily, no. No, not daily. Yeah, not daily, but I feel like, like, there's some ignorance that happens a lot, but as far as, like, racism, daily, no. Daily, no. I mean, we we all for sure know like the West Coast versus the South is a little southern, different. South is different for sure, but I mean, we all know racism is in different forms and fashions like across the America. So that was a good answer. Royal Weddings S C J says dating tips from both of you. Oh, favorite food. Wait, oh, there's fifteen. Oh, fifteen thousand questions. Oh, let's do, let's just do this one. Favorite things to do together. Well, my favorite thing to do is eat, so. <laughs> That's real, which is why I've gained a few pounds. 
We go. We like to do everything together. Yeah. Movies. Uh, movies. Um, that's my favorite. That's one of my favorite things. I'm glad that she enjoys that too. Um, movies. But, we like to go out to like restaurants. Yeah. Um, wine travel, tasting. Travel. Travel. I think travel. Travel. Yeah. Brings like everything, like a lot of things into play, and like one thing. So the fact we both are like don't like to always just stay in one place. Travel. Yeah. Boom. Oh, that was a good one. Let's get that. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? I would. I personally would say here. But, and I feel like that's where, this is where you want to live right now. Right now. I mean, there's some less expensive places to live. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of pricing for homes and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I fact I've lived in two locations that had no state tax. <laughs> I'll either say Florida, because people, some, most of the time, I always move to Florida and never leave. Or I'm Texas. not one of those persons, but, uh, or Texas. So, um, Houston has food for days. Um, <laughs> And a big airport, so <laughs> anywhere that has a big airport, hell, heck, a whole bunch of food, and uh, cheap homes. So that's mm -hmm. Texas. I heard Arizona, but I don't want to move to Arizona. Okay, so Lord D says his his, his drone shots are amazing. Was it less able to transfer his job, or are you guys a team now for the YouTube career? So I'll answer. Well. He has, he's really good with the drone and he's only really flown it like, well, maybe like, how many, like a total of like five times maybe? Well, still, times. still, my, still on two hands. I can count. Yeah. So he's like, just kind of jumped right into it. And like we said earlier, he got a job out here and he helps me a lot with YouTube. I mean, we're filming right now. I mean, I get good insight from um, a lot of our friends like uh, Steven, Sebastian, John, like the... Uh, the they, boys. The boys. Basically, um, I ask questions and they're like, boom, 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 start rattling it off. And after that, I'm a person that learns by seeing. So if I see it, I can uh, imagine it. You know, it's like, you know, go from there. Yeah. He, and after that, it's just a uh, constant, um, you know, repetition. But He helps me a lot with YouTube and taking pictures and everything, vlogging, doing all that. Yeah. So Patience. <laughs> let's, go, let's go back to that. Patience. <laughs> <laughs> Selena Duh said, who said I love you first and have you farted in front of him or are you not there yet? Laughing emoji. So I said it first. No shame. Wait, tell him when you said it. No, I don't need to that. Just okay. okay, just kidding. Um, and then what about the second part about passing gas? Has she? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Countless. <laughs> We're comfortable. Let's get comfortable. When you live with someone, I feel like you need to just be like, okay. This I mean, is I, I would want to. If she doesn't have it, I would be questioning. Like, it's not somebody I could trust if they don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> One time we were in a um, hotel room in New York, and like I was getting ready right here, and the bathroom was like right here. So there was pretty much all no. Right, New York, we all know small. Yeah, rooms. small room. So yeah. there's like no privacy. Just so forced us into this situation. Yeah, things got real. We'll just say that. I had to release. <laughs> I had to release these demons. <laughs> these demons? <laughs> Tika Shake said, how do you handle male-female attention with the other person? Social media, face-to-face, etc. That just goes back to trust. Um, Look at my face on I mean, it goes back to trust. Like, there's no, I don't really have a, like a straightforward answer to that, but um, I don't think I've had a straightforward answer to any of these questions. Gosh, yeah. just, let's be honest, but... Uh, I mean, I don't think either one of us entertains, like, other people, you know, at all. So, it's like... I know she said I don't think, so let me stick my point out. <laughs> I don't entertain other... No, attention. I'm saying, like, I, you know, I, that's just how I talk, but, like, we, it just doesn't happen, you know? And there have been a couple times where we've been out and, like, a girl might, like, be like, oh, excuse me, and I'm like, huh. <laughs> Like, listen, I'm crazy, okay? Patty XOXO says, would you guys get a pet together? It's a must. Les is already getting puppy fever. People have been wanting me to get a dog for like the past four years, but I'm- People. I'm, I moved around too much. I like, uh, my friends. Like, uh, all my friends been like- But it's not about what they want, it's about what you want. I know, and I've been, they know I want a dog. So they let's oh. get one, let's get one. Go get a dog. I'm like, no, I, I'm not home enough. I, I care too much about them. Like, I would be like, not wanting to be mobile if I had a dog or like always be with me, so. Yes. Yes. 
Mish to the D asks, why is that hard to say asks? It's not. <laughs> asks, what does he do that drives you crazy and vice versa? He's like a maniac when he drives. Yeah, he drives like fast and like, like it's not Fast and the Furious, LA Drift. <laughs> LA Drift? <laughs> <laughs> like when we're in the car together i'm like oh oh my god she's super paranoid she's a paranoid rider um <laughs> she's a person in this like in the front seat the back seat outside the car sees everything <laughs> after looking up from her phone <laughs> heartbreaking she doesn't like it yeah um, he'll break hard i'm like oh <gasps> She thinks I should stop as soon as I hit the exit lane. Yeah, like slow down, you know, like slow down. Like sometimes he drives fast. I'm just if like, I see how, for how I look, actually look out ahead of me, I just don't look at the car in front of me. I'm a, a proactive driver rather than reactive. Yeah, but sometimes... The, she thinks that just because brake lights come on, like, oh my God, you're supposed to come to a complete stop. Like, no, you slow down. Like there have been a couple times, I'm going to tell you this, because it hasn't... <laughs> there have been a couple times where... He's hit the brakes and the car in front of him doesn't break. And then all of a sudden, it's boom, almost hit the car. Times. When we were driving to Orlando that one time. One that time. happened twice in one day. One and no, I was one like. One time. She said that one time. Yep. That one time. Bless twice in one day. Honey. Denise Gomez, 84, says, will you have your own makeup line? I mean, possibly in the near future. I'm not going to say no to that. Um, right now, no. I think it needs to happen when I'm like ready to commit 200% and not just put anything out there that's like half ass. You know, it's like it needs to be like I need to be 500% committed. 500 level 9000. Yep. Ooh, neural neural uh says have either of you imagined your wedding day? If so, how do you picture yourself and one another? Maybe like she means like what would the wedding day be like? Um, I think she's saying about talking about the wedding day because of the first one, but um, we have imagined at least I've imagined a wedding day. We we've, um, we've imagined it. We've talked about it. I'm the type of person. Um, I prefer a small wedding. Um, there comes a lot of uh, from my friends who've been married, who've gotten married before, currently. Um, they've told me that whenever you do a small wedding, there's a lot of people that are unhappy. So when you do a small wedding, yeah, because you can't, you don't invite a lot of people. Oh, but you said you that's what you want. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm to, see, I can't even get through it. Patience. <laughs> pa patience. <laughs> Let's go back to that one more time. Patience. <laughs> but no, I do want to have a small wedding, but I also want to be at a new location. Um, I want people to travel, um, get outside the U.S. and uh, have a good time. So it'll be a party by the beach. <laughs> yes. Yes. We've talked about this. We've talked about having a destination wedding and how fun that would be. So... I'm down for that. La bota. So you won't have to deal with? La bota. <laughs> Sebastian. <laughs> Hello. Oh, gosh. All right. He's he, We're sober, folks. Hello underscore star Bella says, where did he put all the shoes? How's the closet situation? I know you donate a lot of your things when you decided to move in. So, yes, I cleared out. Basically, part of the closet I cleaned cleared out and then I added extra shelves before he moved in and then I moved um there's like another small closet I have and I made that into like a shoe closet and um some shoes uh, I had to get rid of like over I think it was tough I got rid of over like 150 boxes I stopped counting after, after that um <laughs> and uh, other shoes I did keep in boxes but um there's like a little area I took here there was like a site stacked up near the ceiling or whatever yeah there's like a little tiny um, like and I put a few like in the closet but a majority um actually took out the bus so those are actually down in storage but um a lot of stuff is in storage yeah I'm missing them they 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 long for me <laughs> <laughs> what are both you and Les's New Year's resolution this is from Lauren Ormrod I don't have one. All right. I just stay focused and keep pushing. <laughs> like, um, I don't really do the whole... I don't have one. Uh, All yeah. serious. Mine is always the same. Like, I always just hope that I can, like, be the best that I can be. And 
the New Year's is always like a good time for me to like refocus my energy on fitness and just really like make sure I'm focused on the things I want to achieve. So it's it's like I feel like November, December, it's like, okay, the end of the year, you're kind of chilling, you're you know, work is slowing down, you're kind of on chill mode, you know, a lot of traveling happening. So my New Year's resolution is always to like get back, you know, and focus. Amir underscore ah, Amira said, what advice would you give a couple who is about to move in together? Okay, so I'll start. I would say you have to make sure you're moving in because you guys genuinely see a future with one another. Just make sure it's not rushed. Yeah, make sure it's not rushed. So, like, don't move in with someone just because it's, like, you guys are trying to, like, cut costs or, like, maybe both want to move out of your parents' house or whatnot. Or you think it's financially beneficial. I would say, like, move in with one another if you feel like you really see a future with that person and you can't, like, stand to be apart, you know? Like, if you're on FaceTime for eight hours a day, like we were. No, I'd say bigger than that. It's, um... For sure, always follow your heart, but don't feel like you gotta rush into moving into with somebody just to reach it. Um, I do feel like I am a person who's an advocate of um, understanding the person that you're with, but make sure it's just somebody that you can grow and they do understand you. If you guys are in arguments outside the, outside of living together, then uh, yeah, that's another thing. Like, like we didn't we don't like really argue. Uh, like we'll have like little like. It's boom, natural. Boom, I would expect her to yeah. not agree with some things I say, but when you're arguing or you get to like bad situations or something like that, then no. Yeah. Back off. Yeah. So it's just got to feel right. And I think deep down, like we know when it feels right. And a lot of times we just don't want to admit it to ourselves. So like with us, I feel like we're just both honest with each other, honest with ourselves. And we are like, okay, we're going to be together like forever. <laughs> forever. So, you know, like. Cuckoo VG3? I don't know. How did Les's family feel about him moving in with you in California? Um, basically just asked the question, are you sure? Um, is that the right decision? Ask me the questions and after that, like, um, okay. <laughs> I wasn't really, um, I did like take in consideration like how like uh, parents felt, but um, it was uh, more so like, hey, like, um, I know you might feel happy or not happy about it, but it's happening. So um, I'm my own man. Um, I have a support from my family. So and my choices, um, full support. So that's how they felt. They were supportive. I feel like when I told my family, it wasn't like a discussion we had. I was like, yeah, he's moving in and that's that. It's like we're grown. Like, you know what I mean? So. I feel like it's not like we're young, like just making like um, impulsive decisions. So I feel like they just, both our families just kind of trusted what was happening in the process. Yeah. It's a uh, Addy Nike says, does he still make you nervous at times? He actually has never made me nervous. Let's get that thing straight. I don't think I've ever been ner nervous with you. Mm. Okay. What about if, if she was asking you that? Do I still make you nervous? Nervous? No, she doesn't make me nervous. Did I ever? Um, make me nervous? Um, maybe I was like, uh, cause I didn't know what type of girl she was. She was beautiful as ever. I didn't want to mess up on the first time we were meeting, but that's just a nervousness of um, executing the date. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So underscore Asia B says, have you already talked about or made plans about marriage and family? What was the conversation you needed to have before he moved in or that's no. or that he's there? Was that a conversation you needed to have before he moved in or now that he's there? She's asking. Oh, no. We talked about that before he moved in. Like, we both were kind of like, you I'd know. Already I'd already told her I see myself with her um, long term. Like, not talking about, oh, like a two year, three year. Like, no, I'm talking about I see her, see us together. Or was that Sandlot? Forever. 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 <laughs> so that's something like we have been talking about like over and over again. You know, we talk about we talk about our feelings a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, put, put especially no when we especially like when we like didn't live together, we talked about our feelings a lot. Like we'd go out to eat, talk about our feelings. Yeah, um, we talked about family um, in terms of like a future family. Um, probably the dog would probably be the first part of making a family, you know, after marriage, but whatever. Yeah. But um, it's like conversation. Yeah, it was a conversation that was had. Like, that? like me, like um, put my cards on the table. Um, yes, you did. Either you like the you either you like the suit that I have, or it's like um, you know, swipe up the cards and hightail it out of there. It wasn't too bad, was it? He's over here like I'm hungry. Yeah, hey, I'm hungry. I like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our Q and A. You got through it, babe. Yeah, we got through it. Oh, we we got through it. We got through it. How do you um, feel? Are you glad it's over? Do you feel like you answered? Oh, uh, it so feels much? good. Um, hopefully, we answered the questions as best possible. Hope you um liked our answers. Not, I guess they're just answers. Some things we like, some things we don't. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, again. Yeah. Um, if there's any suggestions for additional content you think might be good for the Less and Shade movement to happen, let us know. Comment below. Challenges, <laughs> anything, whatever you guys want. Be careful with the challenges. We only go up so far. <laughs> True. <laughs> so thank you guys, and we'll see you later.